again, another part of the process, drawing characters. Now, for the most part, like I, I tell you now, man, if we didn't have parts on board, a lot of the characters would take a long time to draw and I'll be backed up with so much stuff because I'm head animator, so I don't have a lot of time to, you know, do these kind of processes. So it's a big help when someone as gangster as Potts helps me out with drawing assets, uh, sceneries and things like that. And without him, trust me, I'd be bogged down. But regardless, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process that goes behind drawing. So what we do, we don't actually draw things from scratch as far as the characters. We literally just go on Google and trace them over. If we need to make, you know, a few tweaks and, you know, just to make it more suitable for us or, you know, change edits and make it, you know, more bespoke or whatever, we make those slight changes, but we use the Google images as a basis. So literally, let me show you real quick. So let's say, for example, who do you want to draw right now? Um, I got someone. I got Samuel Jackson for whatever reason in my mind. I feel like watching. Um, I feel like watching Pulp Fiction or something like that. But uh, Samuel Jackson, right? So Google um, Samuel Jackson. Okay, images. So which one's the best one? Um, okay. So for the sake of this example, I'm wanting the ball version. So actually, let's take this one. Let's let's take this one. <laughs> it looks like a Tinder profile profile picture <laughs> alright cool so right click save image as save it wherever you save your stuff my pictures folder which is backed up with so many bloody pictures is nuts okay and then we open moho get rid of the asher then we open moho new file go to pictures drag that in and then presto there you go Okay, so Samuel Jackson, face, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so what I usually do is I like to group things up into a folder. So literally separate everything. So I put a head, okay? So make a group, then label it head. Then, okay, open vector, because we're gonna need vectors. This is what we draw on. So, you know, duplicate these a couple of times. And then from the bottom, the face is always on the bottom. So label this face okay um what you can do is use a color picker here so we want the skin tone of him so we don't want to try and guess it we want to try and make as accurate as possible so literally take the exact skin tone take the color picker drop on there that's cool so we'll use that we'll copy that Control c for further notice when we do the ears and the eyes and things like that okay so the width let's put it down to about Let's say five for the sake of this. Then grab this tool here, which is the add points tool. Then literally go around like this. So, you know, this is the curvature version. You don't want the straight version. Um, you know, you don't want to give them like a square head or whatever. So, I think you around there. This guy looks like a Malteser. This is what I'm going to look like in about 30 years. 32 right now. Um, Okay, so there's no head there, but you know, you can pretty much guess what the shape would be. So, and there you go. Okay, so that looks like it's over. Yeah, okay, so what I do is I take this layer here, what we're drawing from, and put it on top so I can still see the details of the picture while seeing the outlines of the line. If that makes sense. Okay, so that's the face shape done. We've got the head shape. So, we want to get one of the ears. So, we'll label this ear. Use a magnifying tool, zoom in on that a little bit, and then go around the ear like so. This is literally all we do. This is literally all we do for our characters. It, take, it still takes a while, but you know what I mean? Why draw something from scratch if it's a lot easier to just draw from an actual image, you know? I mean, we want it to look like them. So, yeah, there you go, that's done. So let's make this layer invisible. Then you've got the ear layer here. So as you can see, we need to get rid of these lines over here. Let's get rid of these lines here. So, okay, where does it end? Where does it start? Okay, so you get the hide line tool and then go over it like so. Then, okay, let's change the width to three. Get the add points tool again. Make the drawing tracing layer vis uh, visible again. And then you want to add in the little details of the ear real quick. Do this real quick okay um yep okay click that make that invisible 
there you go you got a bit of the air we can tighten that up later but for the sake of example it's going a bit fast okay so as you notice he's got two ears <laughs> the other one's visible so we want to duplicate this drag this down behind the face and then take this transform tool here and then flip it horizontally and you can see the points there and then we want to go to the transform points tool here select all then rotate it a little bit shrink it a little bit from this perspective the ear will look a bit smaller than the outer one and then you got two ears done saves you drawing another one bitch bash bosh okay so now we want to do the nose so we go to this layer label it nose um width three should be fine for that we can edit it and make it a little bit thicker if need be okay so go around the nose like so click on the lines you can't see them right now obviously because the main image is over the top get this part of the nose here okay so for this okay we need to fill it in okay so for this instead of like creating creating um, holes because it doesn't really look right in this I haven't really got the knack of that yet so what I do is I thicken the lines to make them look like the dark parts of the nostril the inner parts of the nostril so I go to this tool here line width tool and then choose a point where the nostril would be and scale it up scale it up again oh wrong way scale it up and scale it up again in fact let's bring that down over here and then bring it up over here then you do a render preview of that it looks like nostrils there you go now i mean okay um right so let's make that visible again so enjoy the next part okay so we want to go to the eyes right so again with the eyes what i do because we put the eyes on switch layers to make them blink without actually having to go in and move the eyelids ourselves you create a group so group okay so drag one of these available vector layers in here we label this um actually let's label this open because we'll label the switch layer eyes okay so let's label that white and then duplicate that and label this pupil okay so let's change the line width to one and a half then change the color palette to f f f f f f which is white although his eyes look kind of like orangey but it doesn't matter okay then follow the shape of the eyes like we do with everything else um if it's not bang on it doesn't really matter you can go back and make the changes if you want um yeah that should be fine instead of drawing that out again you can copy paste flip horizontally drag and drop there you go okay so you got the eye whites made that invisible that's what's there okay right so pupil right so his pupils he's a black man so brown colored eyes okay um, right yep so i'm holding shift whilst dragging that so i make a perfect circle otherwise you get that you have to like try and make it perfect and that's long and do that okay and then copy this copy the shape that you just created then select it hold shift again oh no my mistake select it without holding shift because you've already created it and then actually make that smaller don't look like it's on ecstasy large massive pupils okay then you click on this color palette changer and then change it to black okay and then copy this again scale that down move this to about here because this is the reflection that we want to have on the eye just to add a bit of detail so that will be black you can't see it but you kind of have to guess where it is make it white then there you go you've got the eye okay as you can see it's popping out the edges we'll address that in a minute we use a method called masking um yeah copy then right copy that we've got another pupil here done okay made that invisible 
So what we need to do is that we need to make sure that the pupils don't breach the outside of these eye whites here. Cause that's, it just looks like an alien. Okay, so you go to the open eye layer, you go to masking, then you go to hide all. And there you have it. The eyes are now not breaching and they're inside. And obviously it looks weird with the line just stopping here. So what you would do is take the eye white, duplicate it, drag it over the top of the pupil, they'll disappear, that's normal. And then go to, what's this tool called? And then go to the select shape tool, right? Click this eye and then turn the transparency all the way up. Yep, and then do the same for this one. Yep, and there you go. You got eyes and the stroke is all the way back here. So that's the eyes. Okay, right, so we'll leave the, for sake of this example, I mean, what you would go on to do is you would create a switch layer and then drop it in there, right? And then you create another layer to have the eyes closed. So you obviously just change it to the color of the guy's skin. And you know, you can open and close the eyes. <clears throat> and that's that okay so what we're going to do now is open what we've got we've got the eyebrows of course right so create a straight switch layer for that simple name it eyebrows take an available vector layer drop it in there label that normal for a normal expression although it looks quite mean but that's his normal face anyway change it to black then same thing Literally just take the tool you got here and then create the shape of the eyebrows. That's approximately correct. Double tap there to get the edge. And then double tap there to get that edge. And then join it up. Bam, there you go. You got one eyebrow. Obviously you need two. So same thing as before with the eyes. Copy, paste, flip horizontally and then place about there. That should be fine. Move a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay, zoom back out. What we've got so far? Starting to look like Samuel Jackson. What do you think? Yeah, no, yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, so make this make this visible again. Right. Um, okay. So we need a mouth. Right. Um, what I do is I just drag and drop it. Drag it in from another... Drag it in from another asset. Try and drop this timber. This is using the Sonic thing. So we've got an, we've already got mouths created. So literally, we just use the same mouths for each character, unless the client needs something proper and specific, which they normally don't. So there's no point reinventing the wheel. Okay. Delete that normal mouth. Okay. So made that invisible. Drag and drop that in anywhere. Make sure it's not over anything or under anything specific that we need visible. His mouth is probably around there. Yeah. Let's change expression to S. Bit of a grin. Yeah. Scale that up a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to look a little bit like Samuel Jackson. I mean, give me some credit. <laughs> All right, cool. We won't do the beard. I'm just gonna show you the basics for the sake of this example. Um, but what we will do is add some details to the face so it actually looks a little bit human-like-ish. Okay, so make this invisible and then we'll label this layer details and then 150 is fine actually, one and a half is fine. Okay, make this visible again, zoom in. So we wanna get the bags under his eyes and those types of shapes. So we'll do this, just copy over that. And then again, for underneath the other eye. Yep, and we wanna get those parts over the top of the eye as well, cause it's kind of like, he's not got them wide, wide open like that. So, it might not be exactly correct based on what I drew, but we can edit it after. That's the beauty of it, man. That's the beauty of it, man. Okay, cool. Right, and then click on these. Make them visible. Okay, so if I click on another layer so we can see them, that's what we've got so far. So obviously that doesn't look right. So we can move that back here. 
move them a bit more into place so they look more believable. Okay. Right. And with this, we use the line width tool to make the ends disappear because they want to be straight like that. If that makes sense. Okay. Take this point here to that point there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And do the same with the other side, man. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now click on another part. That is a little bit better. And what we need is a bit of shading now. Okay. Um, right, so create another layer. This is available. Label that shading. Oh, sorry. Label that shading. And then, okay, make this the width or the stroke invisible, sorry, the stroke invisible. And then make the transparency on this, turn the alpha up to 110. So, because we're just using shading for this one to emphasize the details around the eyes a little bit. So, what you would do is use a sharp corner thing for this here, sharp corners, because with the curvature, it will just curve and it won't look correct. So, go to all the edges here all the sharp corners on the edges here move the workspace over okay and then untick that so we get the curvature on the line thing as well okay and then literally go over the detail lines that you did and then take the end bit and then underneath create the shade part that's curved for some reason, but we can address that in a second. Do you know what I mean? Making a fool out of me when I'm live on this thing. How dare it? He didn't do that before. How dare it? Okay, we'll do the same for each one. Yeah. You have to have patience for this job, man. I'm telling you, like, this is there's no shortcuts, and if you take shortcuts, the chances are the end project is gonna suck. So you have to take pride and take time where you work. You know. Obviously, this doesn't look like our usual quality stuff, but I'm just showing you the process for this example. I keep saying that because it's my disclaimer. I don't want this being held against me in the court of law. Okay. Um, yep. And if we render preview that, that should look okay. Yep. Okay. Samuel Jackson. Okay, and add a little bit of shading to the face. I think we're in there for the sake of this example. Obviously, add more details like these lines down here on the face. Um, add a little bit of shading to the head. That's where I usually, I usually come from this side here. So, still with the same settings as you did with the shade underneath the eyes. Okay. Yep. Click. Then the back here, obviously there's darkness and shadows around that side, so you would just press that on that. Same color as the shade on that side of the face. Zoom out a little bit, show the full head. There you go. Unfinished Samuel Jackson, but that's basically the fundamentals of drawing a character's head, man. You go into things like highlights on the head and like frown lines on the face and smile lines down here and wrinkles and things like that but as a basis that's where you would start from and that's what we do long process but obviously practice makes perfect the more you do it the faster and better you get at it so yeah that's it man that's it